Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So up to now we have learned all the concepts related to the events. Now it's time for us to develop a simple example, practical example, which it will be very helpful for you in the real time. So in this example or in this mini project, let's say that it's something like a mini project. So we will cover all the factors and all the things. So just I am trying to do a uh, shopping list thing, simple thing using the plain JavaScript and also the event listeners and also the events and all those things what we have learned it. So let's try to do this one in our in this video. So now what I am trying to do is I am trying to design a shopping list. Okay, so step by step, step by step, we'll try to do it this project. Okay, so follow me in this video course in order to practice, uh, in order to complete this project. So practice this one with, uh, with video by video, you check to see these all videos and practice step by step. Then you can understand very easily. Now here I have created this HTML thing. Now what I'll do, I will take one div, id is equal to wrapper. So this is the root div. And I will be having one header. Okay, it's a simple thing. So I can take div id is equal to page top or anything. Okay. Now here I want to develop. So here I can write h1 Leela web dev shopping list or something like this. Okay, last not last list. Now here I'll be having one paragraph my shopping list my shopping list okay if you try to see the output here you'll be able to see the output yeah so this is the output we are able to see now here in this one in the page top only i will create a simple form search item so search for the items so search item this is a form inside this form i can have input type is equal to text and i can have a placeholder search items Okay, I can give some dots. So we are able to get these search items. And what I will try to do is in this form only, I will be having div id is equal to checkbox. So I will can I can have something like check. And for this one, I can have one label. And this label will be hide list. So in order to hide the list, so you can select this box so that all the list items can be uh, what I can say is hidden. So I can have simple checkbox and here I can do id is equal to hide and here for this one also we can use for is equal to hide. So fine. So this is our form and this is our header these all things. So after this header I can have another section that is nothing but a form id is equal to add item. So here we can add an item. So adding an item. So here I can do input. Okay. Input. Input type is equal to text and we can have a placeholder is equal to what do you want to buy what do you want to buy okay we can have a placeholder this one placeholder right yeah what do you want to buy and in this one we can have a button button add so we'll have a button add and the last section so we'll be having a grocery list id is equal to grocery list okay so we'll be having grocery list and here i can have h2 uh, we can use a class is equal to title or id is equal to title anything which one you want you can have it and then items to buy items to buy that is the thing right so items to buy so just we am having a heading here and in this one, we need to show all the list of items. So I can use it using the li, ul li. And in this one, I can have a span. So here I will be showing some milk. And I can have the same thing. And here I will be showing delete. Okay. So we'll keep it like this for the time being. And for this one, I can have class is equal to item. Okay. And for this one, I can have class is equal to delete. So let's try to have these all LA items three. So here I can have sugar. And the last one we can have is the pizza. So we'll be adding one by one like this. So just I'm trying to show where do you want to buy here? We can add it and we can show it here. But I'm trying to add some random dummy data. 
okay so this is the html part which i am trying to design it so this is the basic html part so this is how it will look like so let's go to the css and i am already having the css link so style.css i am having the style.css let's go to the css and here we need to design the css part first the body we can have a font family uh, something like uh, we can select this one anything which are you want you can select it i am not uh, trying to force you to use this one only and uh, let's uh, h1 h2 h1 comma h2 we are having two heading tags right so i want to make this font weight as normal so anything you can do it and i want to make the margin also as zero pixel okay so fine and the header thing so we have the header right so we are having this header so hit this header i can take this header and i can apply a background color whichever you want you can apply it so if you want you can apply the brown okay we are able to get the brown and if you want you can have a color of white okay and we will what we want to do is mm, padding i am trying to apply a padding of 10 pixel comma 0 pixel okay we are able to get a padding and we'll try to do textile and center okay these are all the center this is a basic thing so which i want to give you so now let's try to take the wrapper wrapper means the whole content so we need to give some fixed width right so width is equal to 90 percent we can give the width if i try to give it so width is equal to 90 percent but the max width we can give the max width of 80, 800 pixel okay so now i want to make it as a center margin auto okay it is on the center so this is the first phase of the html so what i am trying to do is here here this is the thing what i am trying to do is here this is our shopping list and here this is the heading of the shopping list and this is our shopping list subheading and here we can search for the items for for example if i search for the milk then only the milk the items which is having the milk should appear here so these are all the list of items you'll try to design this stuff also this stuff also you'll try to design it and here if you want to add some item so i want to add uh, if i want if i want to add something like burger or anything if i click on the add this item should be added directly into inside this one so this is the thing i want to do it and also uh, this delete is the button which I, if i click on this delete button this one should be automatically deleted so here we are having this click event and here we are having this click event and if i click on this uh, hide list and all those things automatically these things should be hidden and if i remove this uh, checkbox and this should be visible so that means here we are having the change event and here whenever, whenever i am typing typing itself we need to get it so that means here we are having the key up event so like this we will be having different types of events in the shopping list we'll try to do it one by one so this is the basic html which we have designed it and we are trying to do the css part also so we'll try to do the remaining part of the css in the next video so this is the basic structure we are trying to build the html hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you